Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to record and use the macros in Excel files. Let's start the tutorial. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Just for the uh, for this example, I have opened one new Excel file. The file name is a book one, which contains a default worksheet one. Now come to the tutorial. Before discuss about the macros first, whenever we have uh, some multiple data or multiple information that we can use in multiple sheets or multiple Excel files, what we'll do is, for example, here I have, I am selecting the B2 cell. Uh, not B2 cell, A1 cell, student number. For this example, I am adding the student number, student name, address, marks, results. Uh, just for the demo purpose, I have added some student uh, information. Now, which contains some student headers. And these student headers I require in multiple worksheets and are in multiple excel files so what we'll do is every time we need to copy this all control c now i'm adding sheet 2 and paste here now again i have another data here which contains some employee details employee number employee name occupation address let's put in the auto column fit okay now i require this employee headers also we require regularly in multiple worksheets or multiple excel files again what i'll do is i'll copy this one and i'll paste wherever i require if i require another sheet i'll paste here now imagine here I have only two multiple informations or multiple data only. Imagine if I have a 10 or 15 which the data I require uh, to use in multiple worksheets or multiple excel files. So it's very hard every time I need to copy this one and paste wherever I require. So in that scenario the macros will really helpful. Once we create a macro we can use them anywhere in excel files so how to use the macros so first what we'll do is we'll delete this one as as well as these also we don't require now let's discuss about the macros now let's create a macros to create a macros we need to record the macros how to record the macros so where we will get the macros notice in the menu bar there is a view option here you can click view here in the ribbon notice at the last we got a macros here and also we'll get in the developer menu also but default developer menu is not available you can enable here options customize ribbon here in the main tabs by defaults it will uncheck let's check that one to enable this developer menu bar also click ok now here you got the developer menu bar in this developer menu bar there is a first option called code code inside this code there is a macros information which contains the macros visual basic record macros use related references and macro security the first will check the macros once i click the macros notice it's totally empty the macro name is totally empty because we have not created any macros yet so first we'll create one new macro to create a macro we need to record the macros notice once i mouse over on the macro record macro there is a small pop-up window with the information called each of the commands you perform will be saved into the macro so that you can play them back again so here is very important once we record macro we must be careful you should not enter any wrong information because whatever you enter whether it's a formula or code or any text or data 
it's recording so make sure don't make any errors or wrong information when you are creating a macro recording a macro so first let's create a macro first record macro record macro it's open one pop-up window called record macro which contains the macro name first thing when we create a macro we have to give the name for the macro the macro name starts with a letter now to create a macro name is most important step to create a macro name the macro name starts with a letter and it does not allow spaces between the words between the macro name here let's check an example Charan I'm giving K not Charan it's a student student D header student headers notice when I click OK what will happen and it's, uh, it's showing some error verify that name starts with a letter or underscore and it does not include space or character so what I'll do is I'm adding underscore between the uh, names so if you want to add space use underscore and also macro name starts with a letter if you want to do the shortcut key also but here uh, the shortcut key allow only letters only if you enter any number it won't take shortcut key must be a letter I'm not adding any shortcut key because macro name is enough and description is student marks uh, table header once you click ok notice here it will change to stop uh, stop macro stop recording see here now we have to very careful whatever enter the data it's recording student name address um, marks results just for the demo purpose i'm adding only five columns only and also we can give some um, styles go to home i'm adding some red font is red black bold let's put in a minimize or oh, not the format other column width let's increase the let's stop the macros stop recording that's it we have created one first macro the macro name is student headers now I can use this macros anywhere now I don't need to copy this one for example I want to copy here go to macros go to developers click macros student headers run see here I got the student number student name address the same headers I have added here and here also I can add go to macros run see here I got now here the problem is I want to add these same headers here in G11 cell I am adding the macros here again student headers I want to add this student header student number student name address marks results in the G11 column G11 column run notice what happened it displaying only in the student a1 to e1 only so if you want to add the macros anywhere the selected cell you have to first before recording the macros we need to select the use relative reference now let's add that one also go to sheet 2 uh, I'm creating one new macros using with use relative reference use relative reference once I click notice record macro now this one is employee headers 
I'm not giving any shortcut keys and description also I'm not giving. Click OK. Macros are recording. Here I'm adding employee number, employee name, occupation, address, salary. Then now I'm adding some styles also. Go to home. This time I'm adding uh, more colors, blue. Background color is blue, black, not black. That's a bold. I'm adding the font style 20. Format auto column width. Let's stop the macro. Go to developer. Stop recording. That's it. We have created the second macro also. Now this time we have used use relative reference. So with the help of use relative reference, this macro I can get anywhere. Suppose I want to display on D27. Here I want to get this employee header information. Go to macros. Notice here now I got two macros here. The first one I have created student headers. Now we got EMP headers. I'm selecting AMP headers, click run. See here we got AMP uh, headers is added. Student 3. Now here I want to add, go to macros, student AMP headers, select that one, click run. See here, the employee, uh, employee headers is added here. Now if you want to add the same um, macros in different Excel, Let's open another Excel sheet. Now I have opened another Excel file. The file name is a book two. Now I have two Excel files, book one and book two. In book one, I have created the macros. Now in the book two, I want to use the macros which we have created in the uh, another Excel file. For that, go to developer here. In the developer click macros notice here we got the macro name contains book one this is a file name and this is a macro name now let's add the student headers click run see here student headers now i want to use the second one emp headers also see here i got the emp address and one important thing is Whenever you, you want to use the macros, the original file must be open. So you have to save this file first to use them whenever you require. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to use macros to record them and execute them in multiple Excel sheets and Excel files. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial.